hopefully that will be Wednesday nights, OK? They had one last week and, of course, they'll have one tomorrow and so it goes on. I think it's 12 in a total. Good to hear them, good yes. to see them. On to the weather. Alexis is here. What have we got then? Yeah, a bit of a mixed picture this week. We are going to see some rain. We'll have some sunshine and it will turn cooler for the weekend, just in time for the weekend. Let's take a look at your picture. Pictures, in fact. Lisa Williams took this shot of cows under a rainbow in Buckinghamshire. Mark Rutley photographed a rainbow and uh, a spitfire. Oh, that's good, isn't it? At Leon the Solent today. Yeah, and Dean Bramley captured this rainbow at East Head Spit at West Wittering. Today we saw a number of sharp showers producing those lovely rainbow pictures. Uh, through the course of tonight, maybe some showers initially, they'll tend to fade away. But we did see some sunshine today and this sunny scene was photographed earlier on today on the Isle of Wight. So through the course of tomorrow, we'll have a mainly dry day with some sunshine. But later on in the afternoon and into the evening, there is the chance of rain or showers moving in. There's the risk of showers overnight tonight with some patchy cloud, a few clear spells. The showers will ease by dawn and under the clear skies, it will be a little bit cooler than recent nights. Lows of seven to eight degrees with the continuing westerly breeze. Through the day to tomorrow, we'll have a lot of sunshine, particularly during the first part of the day. Through the afternoon, cloud will start to thicken from the southwest and bringing with it the old isolated shower and perhaps some rain for some. Eastern parts holding on to the sunshine, hazy sunshine with the arrival of this cloud through the afternoon and temperatures will reach a high of around 15 to 16 degrees. On the inshore waters tomorrow, that's from Selseyville to Lyme Regis from midday tomorrow until midday on Thursday. The winds are west for five, backing southwest five to seven, perhaps gale eight later. And the visibility is moderate or good, occasionally poor. Now, tomorrow night, we're expecting further heavy rain and that will arrive during the early hours of Thursday morning, persisting right the way through the night, um, gradually easing by dawn with temperatures dropping to a mild 11 to 12 Celsius. So Thursday itself, for some of us, will start off with some rain and it's this weather front moving south and eastwards. Northern western parts of the region will brighten up during the afternoon, but southern coastal counties in the Isle of Wight may hold on to the cloud and the rain right the way through the afternoon into the evening and overnight into Friday morning. Morning. Friday itself, well, there's still the risk of some rain or showers, but some sunny spells to be had as well. And into the weekend, that's when we start to develop a northerly airflow. So it will feel cool with that breeze from the north. The risk of one or two scattered showers, particularly for eastern parts of the country on Saturday. And Sunday should be mainly dry with some sunny spells, but a good deal of dry weather over the next few days. But there'll also be some rain on the cars as well. If you want to send us your weather pictures, here's the email address to do that. Southweather at bbc.co.uk. Sally. Alexis, thanks very much. Um, tomorrow we have a story of a tree. It's a lovely story, actually, because it was a tree that was at the heart of a village. Then in the storms in February of this year, it fell and now it's been turned into something very special. Find out what tomorrow night, half past six here on BBC One. Thanks for watching this evening. Stay safe. Bye bye. Good night.